Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Art Fleet. Today I want to talk to you about where to put affiliate links to get clicks to your affiliate programs. And I have a big, huge, long post. I will put a link to that in the notes below. But functionally what I did was I wanted to show normal business people how to add affiliate marketing as an additional stream of income, not necessarily that you're going to set up this big website and do all these things. Functionally, you're just folding it into what you normally do. So here's a few things that I that I do, okay? Number one, I have affiliate links in my sidebar banner. This is my main sidebar, and Jasmine, I took her course. I really enjoyed her course. And if you go to this link, you saw, well, you couldn't see, but it says share a sale, and then it goes to that course course which I get a cut in the middle for it okay we're gonna be running really slow so I'm not gonna make you watch a blank screen the whole time but that's what's kind of happening so if you click this this button it goes to her course and then share a sale who is the creative live um, affiliate manager pays me money and I'll put a link to the share a sale below too that's my favorite affiliate um, place. They have all different kinds of really good quality business-related links that I can use. Um, to give you a couple ideas, I do a share a sale. I do Tailwind, which is a marketing thing. I know they have all different business um, products that you could do. So sidebar, number one. Number two, at the bottom of my posts, I have additional resources. And so I have a link to Marmalade, I have a link to some of my things. A lot of times one of these links down here will go to an affiliate product. Now, why would I do that? Say I'm talking about Pinterest and I do know that, like, I can't write every single thing that you would get in a course in a Pinterest post, but I do not want to make a course in Pinterest. What I would do is I have two different gals that I love. One is very happy, friendly, kind of social, doing it from that aspect. She's, you know, um, I would suggest her. And there's also another gal I love who does it from a very SEO data-driven, like my favorite kind of way to do it. And I would recommend her also. So I would be helping my people and giving them access to a course that I felt would help them. The other thing I do is if I find it to be something that I really am into and I, I personally have taken a lot of courses or say you personally have read a lot of self-help books. Um, you could do this with Amazon affiliates with books and things like that. But what I did was I put this here with all my favorite courses, like this is my all-time favorite, no, this one's my all-time favorite course I've ever taken about craft photography, um, and just put these down here um, and they're all affiliate links. They go to different places. Some of them go to Craftsy. Some of them go to, um, this one goes to this gal's website. Um, the lady who did Pinch Yum, she has a little ebook that I found to be very helpful. So I, this is called a roundup post where you put together all of the things you like the best. And I have 759 shares on that. A lot of them on Facebook. So I paid for shares on Pinterest. I haven't paid for anything on Facebook. So those are being shared by people that actually think that there's valuable content to this and then um, also shares to LinkedIn. So that's good. On YouTube, what I'll do is I will have a great video and then I will have links to different possibly affiliate things that you could do underneath it. That's one way you could put them. This is another one. I um, write some posts where I'm just talking about helpful things and then putting Amazon links in. Um, I'm not setting the world on fire with Amazon links, but this is actually a post that will help my little peeps that want to set up their paper planner. Now, this is on my other website. Not as many, but people are, not as many shares, but people still go to this. And also, this is fun. I just sent this out to a gal yesterday who was asking about um, how to set up her planner. So I had this post all ready to go. I didn't have to type it all out for her. So these are just all the different parts needed to set up a banner or to set up a planner and you can um, 
go buy Amazon products from there. And last but not least, I send them in my emails. Uh, usually I send a link to my blog post of the week to only the people who it's appropriate for. For example, if it's a blog post about real estate, I will only send it to my real estate agents. If it's a blog post about Etsy, I will only send it to my Etsy peeps. But this one was for everybody. This was about how to do affiliate marketing. And this is um, a link to, this is the one that was having such a hard time pulling up. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. So it goes to this really scary lady, um, but she is hosting a free class next week. I have found that recommending free classes for my people really helps them. And occasionally some of them purchase the product, you know, the, the free class, they'll go ahead and upgrade it or they'll buy something else. And then I get a wee affiliate commission for that too. So hopefully that helps give you some ideas thinking about where you might want to put some of your affiliate links. If you like information like this, go ahead and make sure to subscribe. Um, hit the like button. That really helps me. And I am Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.